Hello everybody, today we're going to be creating personalized birthday greetings using Python. Today I have rebelit.com as my code editor. This is kind of how we want our final product to look like. So we have the person's name here, we have their uh, specific birthday here, and we even have um, a, an adjective that changes each time to just to make it more personalized. Um, for that person. So let's start by creating the dictionary with the person's name and their birthday. To create a dictionary, first we need to name it. We're going to call it a birthday dictionary. I'm going to use a, a pair of curly brackets to put in what we call keys and its value. In our case, the key is going to be the person's name. So that's, for example, Bess and we put a colon after the key to write the value which is going to be the person's birthday i'm going to say for example 14th of june and we separate each pair of key and value with commas so let's do that with the other two people we have jape birthdays on 5th january and we also have Clara, birthday is on 20th December. So this is our dictionary. We just have three people, but we can keep on adding more. Next, what I'm going to do is to try to retrieve the person's name and birthday and then print it on each line. So let's try to do that. To traverse through our birthday dictionary, to traverse through any dictionary, um, and because we want to get both the key and the values for each uh, pair, we are going to use the for loop. We're going to use the for loop and say for the name of the key. So I'm just going to name that a person, comma, the value, which is going to be the birthday. So I'm going to say for a person, comma, birthday in our birthday dictionary dot items so this function dot items is actually going to give us access to both the key which we're taking in this variable person and the access to the value which we're taking in this variable birthday so this is just for person comma birthday in birthday dictionary dot items we're going to print the name of the person and their birthday so let's do that. Hopefully we should be getting the same as what we have written in our dictionary, which is Bess 14th June, Jake 5th January, and Clara 20th December. Next step is going to be to write a function in which we're going to format the greeting so that it looks like an actual letter or an actual card. So for that, we need to start by defining our function. So we say def and write the name of our function. And this is going to be my birthday greeting uh, generator. I'm just going to call, call it birthday greeting. In this, we're going to be passing some variables. But for now, I've just left it blank. Inside a function, we want to um, uh, format what our greeting will look like. So I'm going to take that in a variable. And there is a very, very cool function that you can use to format um, your, to format a string so that you don't have to keep worrying about concatenating the string, making sure there's spaces between the words, especially now that you're passing two variables, you know, that's the person and birthday variable. Um, it makes it a lot easier to format those variables and change that each time by keeping the overall format of the string the same. So we can do that by using a format function. First, we need to put in our pair of quotation marks and inside this, we're gonna be writing our message. So I'm gonna start with saying, hey, and then write the name of the person. Um, I'm gonna put the name of the person um, inside this. So this is just a pair of curly brackets. This tells the format function when, when we write it, that we need to replace this first one with the appropriate variable. So, hey, 
the person's um, name, wishing you a very happy birthday this, um, this whatever, this 14th June, this 5th January. So this is where we're going to be passing their, uh, their birthday. Then for a full stop and I'll say, I hope you have a great year ahead exclamation so this is my string here i have the two variables that i'm changing which is a person and their birthday so i'm going to now apply the dot format function and i'm going to pass in the person's birthday and their um, name so the, this order of variables that I'm writing in my format function is very, very important because that's the same order in which it is going to substitute our variable inside this pair of brackets. So the first very first pair of brackets is going to have our person and the second will have our birthday. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to say return greeting, which is the variable where we've taken the string. And then we can just say uh, we can just I'm just going to move this for loop at the end here and instead of this instead of just printing the person in the birthday I'm going to pass our person and birthday in our birthday greeting function so I'm going to print the result that we get from our function so we start with saying birthday greeting and then we're going to pass in our person and their birthday and we need to do the same thing. So here we need to specify the variable that we're taking these in. I'm just going to name it the same variables so that it's easier to understand. And make sure that this variable, these two variables are the same variables that we're using over here. So as you can see, when I highlight this, those are highlighted, which tells us that they're the same. So let's do that. So we can see that it worked. It starts with saying, hey, Bess. Wishing you a very happy birthday this 14th June. Same thing for Hey Jake on 5th January and Clara for 20th December. This is great. It's working. It's personalizing it. Nice thing is we want it to look more like a letter. So instead of it being just a, an entire sentence, I want to try to put this saying Hey Bess or whatever the person's name and then writing the next on the next line. So for the next line, we have to use um, backward slash n so I'll put that over here now hopefully we should get it on the next line yeah we got it on the next line also want to put um, some sort of separation between two people's greetings because I can differentiate between where it starts and ends so I'm gonna put a new line character here at the end of our string as well so it gives us a space and I think I also want to add kind of like a dash, like a border between them. So for that, I'm going to add this extra string at the end, which is just going to be our border. Add this to our greeting. So it is greeting is equal to greet whatever we have written in greeting plus this border. So now we should be getting a border in between. I'll just make this a bit more longer so that it kind of comes to the end over here. So let's run that. That looks much better. I think I also want to get, I hope you have a great year ahead on the next line as well. So I'll put a new line character here and remove this space. The spacing is very important because it's different if I put a new line character space in the sentence versus when I just put the new line character in the sentence so that there's no space here when it comes to the new line. So this looks much better. Next thing is I want to add my um, name just to let them know who sent this message. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put two new line characters and say dash. And just write my name here and I think we need to again end it with another new line character so that there's a space between my name and the dashes so this looks much much better 
the next thing I'm thinking is, yeah, we've done our uh, greeting format. We've finished our function, which means that even if we change our dictionaries, you know, to update new people, it's going to create a greeting for each one of them. But I think we can make this even more personalized by changing this specific adjective over here. Since we're already changing the name and the date, um, I don't want to change anything else. I maybe want to say, say, I hope you have an amazing year ahead for some people, or awesome year ahead, or cool year ahead, or um, you know, wonderful year ahead. And this, I'm just gonna use a random, um, gonna use a random function to do that. So for that, I need to import the random library and once I do this I'm going to create a an adjectives list over inside our function so I'm going to create a list here uh, of adjectives and remember list is defined by using square brackets so inside this I'm going to put a couple of different adjectives This is our list of adjectives. Next thing I want to do is obviously I'm going to change this adjective, this great adjective each time. So I'm going to put a pair of curly brackets inside and I'm going to say comma the adject, the adjective. Our variable adjective is going to be a random choice from our list, which is adjectives. So once we get our random choice um, from this adjectives list, it's going to take it into the variable adjective and we're passing this variable um, inside of this format function so that it can replace this. So let's try this and see what happens. Yeah, so we can see that it says, I hope you have a wonderful year ahead, a great year ahead for some, and an amazing year ahead for others. So yeah, this is how you create a personalized birthday greeting. There's lots more that you can do. And this is just the start of all the cool different functions that you can use in Python to do this. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something new. Bye.